Hey there guys, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we are doing the review on the Snug Pack Ionosphere Bivy Tent. It's been in testing for many months now, and we're ready to pass, pass on the uh, verdict of this tent to you guys now. Might as well get comfortable, grab a beverage, and we'll get started. Before we move to taking a close look at this tent, we'll go ahead and get some of the stats out of the way. This is a two to three pound tent it depends on what you're carrying with you, and we'll discuss that in a little bit. It also runs about $170 online, so it's fairly cheap in terms of tents. It's bigger than a bivy, smaller than a tent, and I personally find that it is a great balance between the two. It is not freestanding, which means that it has to be staked out. It has two poles, has one door, very simple to set up. It also offers a great deal of room. I'm only 5'4", and I'm able to hop inside this with my gear and have plenty of room. There's a number of uh, military personnel who use this as well, who vouch for it, who are over six foot tall, who carry all of their gear inside the tent and still have room for themselves to sleep. It is a one person tent. If you're extremely cozy with the other individual, you can make it two person, but be prepared to spoon basically all night long. All right guys, let's take a closer look at the Snug Pack Ionosphere. So here you have it guys, here is the Snug Pack Ionosphere Bivy Tent. I say it's more of a tent than a bivy actually just because it's so dang large. Take a look at this thing. Very good size. The pack weight of this tent, which includes the fly, the inner tent, the poles, the stakes, the repair kit, and the carry case, is right at three and a half pounds. Now, if you can leave the repair kit and the carrying case at home and only take what's needed, you're looking at 2.6 pounds, which is not bad at all. Of course, there's only one entrance, and it's right here. I have the fly rolled back. Now, this tent has more stakes than any tent I've ever had before. It comes with 16 aluminum stakes to hunker this thing down. I've never seen a tent with so many stakes before. But you know, honestly, that's a positive. It's always better to have more stakes than not. There are two poles. The longest one goes in the front, and it's just a feather light DAC pole. And the smaller one goes at the bottom. And of course, those poles are aluminum. You do have the bathtub floor, which is waterproof. All the seams are sealed on this tent, which is awesome. All companies should definitely do that. As you can see, you have a nice separation from the fly in the tent itself. And you also have plenty of ability for ventilation, which is definitely a positive, which we'll talk about more in just a little bit. The fly here is a polyester rip stop with a waterproof polyurethane coating on it. The internals of the tent is nylon with a polyester Nocea mesh. Very nice, very lightweight, very waterproof as well. Uh, of course, you can see that this is an olive green on black, and that is the only color that this comes in. And I'll go ahead and just walk you guys around this. You can see all the stakes, the guy lines. I threw this up pretty quickly. You, of course, can spend more time on it and get it staked out, make it tighter if you need to. As you guys can see, it has a very low profile, which will keep you from the elements. We'll go ahead and open this up for you so you guys can see what it's like on the inside. You have two-way zippers. And of course, that zips all the way over. And this one goes all the way to the top. Take you on the inside. Plenty of room, absolutely. Big enough for the biggest pad, biggest sleeping pad, and all of your gear. Plenty of room up here at the head. You can use your backpack and gear as a pillow, kind of like I do. You do have a pocket here, and you have an additional pocket on the other side. Here's everything else that comes with this tent. You have a couple pieces of fabric just to kind of tie it down before you stuff it into the stuff sack. You have a sleeve for the poles. You have a sleeve for all 16 stakes. 
and of course you have the compression sack which is pretty heavy duty here you have these buckles you have a carrying handle up here that definitely adds some weight that brings us to the next point and that's weight the pack weight of this tent which means everything all the sleeves the compression sack all that good stuff is 3.3 pounds the trail weight which means just the essentials the fly you know the actual body and the poles and the stakes is 2.6 pounds and that's generally how i like to carry it as well when the tent is in its stuff sack you're looking at 17 inches long and about five and a quarter inches deep of course this is a three season tent due to its design i would not recommend this for snow use just for the fact that you do not have anything or any way to actually tie this thing out so that the middle doesn't sag if you're under snow load. So three seasons, absolutely. Is it waterproof? Absolutely. I've used this during a raging thunderstorm that went on just about all night long and I stayed bone dry. I even let my brother borrow this and he took it out and was in a pretty good rainstorm and again the same, stayed absolutely dry. The company Snug Pack does not make a footprint for this so you can either use it without or you can use a piece of Tyvek or you know a fly from or a, a footprint from a different tent if you want to. Uh, you know the floor is very very strong actually. You know so if you're careful with just where you put it, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Definitely because of its size and the color, it is a fantastic option for stealth camping, no doubt about it. It also offers really good airflow, so condensation's never been a problem even during those thunderstorms that I spoke of. So what's my verdict? From the Outdoor Gear Review, we give it two thumbs up. It really is an awesome tent. Like I said before, it's bigger than a bivy, smaller than a tent, very lightweight, you know, and it performs extremely well. The ventilation is top notch. The waterproofness of this tent is great. You know, the fly itself is definitely big enough to give you perfect coverage. And there's a lot of single, you know, solo tents out there that try to skimp on that and really make the fit. It has to be just right or you're going to get wet. But luckily, that's not the case with this. You know, honestly, I, before I go out and I purchase anything, I always make sure to research it heavily because, you know, that's just the type of person that I am. And the reviews for this were fantastic. And you know what? They're right. It really is a great piece of kit. It is used in the armed forces, military, you know, Marines, and so on, and everybody happens to love it. Very rarely do you ever see a negative review on this. This happens to be my first experience with Snug Pack, and I have to say that I'm really, really impressed. Now, I'm really tempted to try out some of their other gear. They make backpacks, they make sleeping bags, they make some other tents and so on. So we'll definitely be trying them out in the future. It's a lightweight option, right around three pounds, depending on what you do. And it's pretty inexpensive at 170 bucks. And also it comes with more stakes than any tent ever. All right, guys, for our review of the Ionosphere from Snug Pack, it's a thumbs up. We appreciate you guys watching and all your support. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You can, of course, check out our Facebook page at The Outdoor Gear Review or our website at theoutdoorgearreview.com where you'll see plenty of pictures and additional information concerning this tent. Guys, I wish you all well.